With the advent of globalization, every nation has set as its goal, increasing its strength in every category, used to evaluate it in relation to other nations. Military power is one example of a kind of influence that all nations recognize as important for maintaining a level playing field, and this power entails mostly developments in the areas of fast-moving aircraft, with a high lift coefficient and a low drag coefficient. Such an aircraft having the high lift and low drag coefficient is Tejas developed by India. The LCA Tejas aircraft development has provided a considerable technical boost to Indian aerospace research facilities and industry. Digital flight control system, avionics, systems testing techniques, etc. are only a few examples of the cutting-edge technologies that have been produced in the country. One of them is ensuring the accuracy of aerodynamic models at all stages of the design and development process. Applications include increasing the size of the flying envelope, developing high-fidelity simulators, and fine-tuning control algorithm improvements all need a precise mathematical model. Extensive work over the last several years has allowed all LCA Tages versions to safely and methodically increase their flying envelope. In February of 2019, after analyzing data from many flight tests, the LCA Tages received its final operational clearance certification. It is made of structures, made of composite materials, radar-absorbing materials, and its aerodynamic design is the result of a long design process that included studies in a wind tunnel and a lot of computational fluid dynamics. This is a field that is mostly used to simulate structured models for the analysis of fluid flow. Nowadays, CFD is mostly researched for sophisticated calculation reasons, which are accomplished by running software. With the advent of this software, any complicated situation involving turbulent or transonic flows may be computed accurately and quickly. When it comes to developing supersonic aircraft, the Delta Wing and its many versions are among the most popular choices. Among them are the Compound Delta Wing, Crop Delta, a tailless Delta Wing and Diamond Wing Delta. The MiG-21 and the Typhoon are two well-known examples of delta-winged aircraft. The tailless delta wing comes in many distinct forms. When traveling at subsonic or lower Mach speeds, which are crucial in dogfights, the tailless delta lacks the lift and stability of a conventional delta. However, a compound delta design is offered as compensation. Tejas is a tailless delta with a compound delta design. The inner half of the wing has a high sweep back, while the outside part has a lower sweep back, this helps the pilot control the lift, reduce drag, and land better. As delta wing have a property of vortex generation at different speeds during flight, the property of vortex generated depends on factors like the coefficient of lift, coefficient of drag, and shock wave impact absorption. Upon varying speed from subsonic speed to supersonic speed, compound delta wing aircraft are in the top tier for great maneuverability and sufficient takeoff and landing speeds in low distance. The Indian Ministry of Defense approved the procurement of 83 Tages Mark 1A aircraft for the Indian Air Force for $6.5 billion. How? has already increased Tejas manufacturing capacity from 8 to 16 aircraft per year. This will fill the vacuum left by the Indian Air Force's declining squadrons. One of the primary goals of the LCA mission was to provide the platform for the general development of India's homegrown aerospace sector. The self-reliance effort in aerospace is valuable not only because of the planes it produces, but also because it fosters the growth of a domestic sector that can design and manufacture cutting-edge systems with international market potential. One goal of the LCA program was to help India develop and improve its own aerospace industry. 
What makes the Tejas fighter plane so attractive to so many nations? When a country begins to sell its fighter planes, it is not only a moment of pride for that country, but it is also a time when other countries begin to recognize the defensive infrastructure of the country that is doing the exporting. India, thanks to its light combat aircraft, is today on the cusp of acquiring its first customer. According to the chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, Armadavan, the light combat aircraft, which was manufactured in India, has emerged as the top choice for Malaysia. Leaving behind the Chinese JF-17 jet, the South Korean FA-50, the Turkish Herjit, and the Russian MiG-35 and Yak-130. Furthermore, Ajay Bhatt, India's junior defense minister, said that six nations have shown interest in India's Tejas aircraft, including the US, Australia, Indonesia, Argentina and the Philippines. Tejas is the smallest and lightest supersonic aircraft in its class, and it can perform a variety of roles as a fighter jet. It can carry a wide variety of missiles, including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-surface missiles, precision-guided bombs, standoff missiles, and even a BrahMos missiles. It can refuel in midair, putting it back into combat condition. It's a fourth-gen fighter because of its satellite-aided inertial navigation system. Tejas can easily support nine tons of weight. It can carry the same number of missiles and weaponry as the heavier Sukhoi. Its swiftness is its primary benefit. The speed it achieves belies its modest weight. At a height of 52,000 feet, these planes can go faster than the speed of sound, or Mach 1.6 to 1.8. The defense expert claims that the Tejas Mark 1A has several cutting-edge characteristics, but is more expensive than the Sequoia 30 MKI fighter aircraft. Tejas's active electronically scanned array radar, which was developed and manufactured in India, is a standout feature. At a range of over 100 kilometers, the ESA radar can keep tabs on 50 targets in the sky and engage four of them at once. Due to these extraordinary attributes of the aircraft, the Indian government is receiving demands from various international nations to give them with the far better Tejas fighter jets. India is also developing Tejas MK2 in addition to Tejas MK1A. With a more powerful engine, improved radar, upgraded avionics and electronics, and a larger weapons payload, the MK2 fighter will be the most sophisticated LCA type. Conceived and manufactured locally by the Aeronautical Development Agency. Thank you for your time. I'll return with another video next time.